um, how to log in to your NVR or uh, your camera system. Um, we're going to be showing you how to set it up in the IVMS 4200 software as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, now the first most important thing is you're going to need to know your IP address of the unit. Um, so um, I already know mine. And also, first things first, you cannot, you have to use Mozilla or Internet Explorer. There we go. You're going to type in your IP address. And there we go. Um, you'll be able to log in um, if the administrator gives you a password or if you log in as admin. Uh, you're just going to type in your password here. There we go. And this is how it normally starts up. Um, it, it's going to look blank, that's okay. You just hit the play button here. Not a problem, it comes up every time. If you have multiple cameras, I only have one set up, if you have multiple cameras, uh, they'll all show up, I believe. I go, well, I believe it's up to 16 cameras. Um, yes, you cannot um, zoom in this version or, or this way of viewing it, the, the camera system, but I will show you a way. Um, you'll be able to pick your grid pattern. There's a 16, like I said, 9, 4, and 1. Um, and that's about it. Um, for that section, you can go to playback. And you'll be able to watch pre-recorded videos. This is, a f this is fresh and it actually doesn't have any record yet. So, there you go. But you'd be able to scrub through here. And be able to click on a specific image. And play and scrub it. Be able to download it. If there, it would show up with uh, timestamps of each of the videos. You could download the, the, the videos. And that's about it for that one. Now let's go into IVMS. So there we go. So this is how it's going to start off. Um, it's very small, um, it's just because I have a really high resolution screen. Um, but it's going to come with main view, playback, and then nothing else you're really going to want to mess with, maybe other than management. Management, you'll be able to add your, your um, devices up here. See that? Right here. And then there's also server and group. Click on group. That's what you're going to see in main view. When you go to main view, that's for live view. And see, this is the group right here that you created. Right here. This is the group. So you'll be able to drag in your group. Just drag in the whole folder if you want all of them. Nope, I have the wrong group, I believe. Wrong group. See, there's two groups in here. There's two groups. Home and another one. So I'm going to drag in home. There it is. 
not too big of a deal there. Um, fairly straightforward. Now, if you um, ever want to zoom in, you just right click, right click, and go to Open Digital Zoom, right here. Open Digital Zoom. And it should bring up a little magnifying glass. See, my cursor looks like a magnifying glass. And you actually just um, create the window you want to see. See? It's all with this. So, we can close digital zoom, and there's not much else here, maybe full screen, use escape to get out of there, there's also a full screen button down here, um, so there you go, not too shabby. Um, let's go back to control panel and let's go to playback. There we go. And we want to do camera from home. I don't think there's any record file. But same thing as the other, the other guy, you'd just be able to scrub through. Like a day and a time, all that good stuff. Um, and that should do it. There's nothing there. Alright. That should be about it, though. There's not too much else. Um, you can customize your view if you really want to get excited. You can go down here and create a custom view. Click Add. And let's call this Test. This is my test window division. So, the screens that I want to see, or say I want a 6x6, six six, I want to join these ones, join, join these ones, and join these ones. This is your camera view. So you can join certain, um, you can join any set of them. You can join this one. And those will all be camera spaces. So let's save that get out of there. And let's look under here. We should have our test right there. There it is. See that? See, so I joined these four. I joined these four. I joined these four. And I joined these four. In this right here. See that? They're kind of grayed out. Um, that's really cool. And then if you ever want to save your view, so I do that. The button is right down here on the bottom left. Bottom left. So let's And if you have multiple cameras, um, you'll be able to click this button down here on the bottom left. And it'll save a custom view, and it'll save where each of the cameras are in the specific spaces. So each time you load up, it won't, um, or if you ever close the application, it won't lose um, what configuration you have placed the cameras inside of the software. Um, and that's a very useful feature. I don't know why it's not doing it right now, but... Um, that's what it does. Um, and it'll pop up in here, and then you'll be able to click on it, and it'll bring up the cameras just the way you set them up on the software. So, very useful feature. Okay. Um, I think that about covers it all. Um, thank you very much, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have a good one.